Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Rustic Hideaway. It has been a hot minute since our last update on here, but I promise we have good reason. You see, we finally got our lumber package in. So we have spent the last three weeks trying to get it up and framed as quickly as possible. But I know it's time to give you an update, so here you go. Our lumber package was officially delivered on September 7th. That is just 10 days before the year anniversary of when we started this entire adventure, which is just so bananas to me. But since then, we have faced rain, nearly snow, and a lot of sunshine and heat putting up everything. I'm gonna cut these out a little bit more, like notch them. That's all, I gotta hold that center. They stuck one nail just to hold them. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. oh, I see what you're saying. Because that's where our truss is going to sit. All the way down there. We've got a measure. Figure out how much to cut off so it sits. Flush. That makes sense. Well, yeah, absolutely. That looks way taller. Yeah. Than off the ground. Than <laughs> that's our ceiling. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Now we're building a post frame house. So naturally we had to get the posts or those beams up first. If you remember from our last few videos, we were pouring the concrete into the caissons and then setting those brackets. Now in this video, you can see us putting the posts into those brackets and then getting them all stabilized. Dan and I specifically designed our barn dominium to have a 40 by 60 center section with two 14 foot lean twos off to the side. Right here, we are just carrying over the posts for the 40 by 60 center section. And let me tell you, they were so heavy. The next day we were so thankful because the sun came back out and it was absolutely beautiful. It even dried the muddy ground, making this build a little bit easier, at least for a small time. It took a little while, but we eventually got a pretty good system for getting each one of these posts up. I have to tell you, some people don't enjoy working with their spouse. That might even sound like a nightmare to some, but we have a really good thing going on and I am so thankful that we've done this together. Here you can see Dan standing in the west side of our barn dominium. This is in one of those 14 foot lean twos that I was telling you about. Right now it's really hard to see it, but eventually there will be two bedrooms, one bathroom, and a walk-in closet in this side of the house. Lift it, baby. I love, love, love seeing trusses go up on a build. It's not an easy job, but it definitely makes a house look much more like a home. Now, as you can see from the video with my tree blowing away in the background, we were not able to do anything other than put brackets on this day. It was just too windy. Now, if you're curious what those brackets are for, it's simply to set the purlins in when we have the trusses up on top of the posts. These are what's going to pull each truss together and basically tie the entire roof in and stabilize it all together. I 
one day with absolutely no wind, so we decided to put a few of the trusses up to see how far we could get. Of course, we could only make it three trusses in before the equipment we had just proved that it wasn't going to reach to that center section and we were going to have to rent some bigger equipment. All right, here we are for day two of getting these trusses put up on our house. We started the project last Saturday, as you can see. There's three of them back there, but we needed a little bit harder equipment, so we had to run equipment today, and we're back at it. So Dan's back there with the rental. We just tested it out to see how far we can get. We are going to have to put the truss boom on for that one center truss and then uh, the rest of them we should be able to reach very easily. So let's see how it goes. Here's a little advice for any of those teenagers or kids that may be watching this video and you're wondering exactly when you're going to use all that math you've been learning in school. It might be for a time such as this. If you're ever building a house, keep those math skills sharp because you are going to need them more than you know. The entire time we were building our shop apartment, I had an irrational fear of miter saws. Well, saws in general, but miter saws in particular. So Dan did all of the cutting for that project. But this one, I realized that I really did need to get in there and help because there was so much more to do. So I just faced that fear and got over it. such a dork. <laughs> If you're curious how many purlins it took to complete the entire roof, it was 156. And yes, they each had to be measured out and cut precisely. Needless to say, Dan and I devised a very efficient system where he stayed safely harnessed in at the top of the scaffolding and I sent each purlin up to him individually using a tie down strap. Hey, it's all we had on hand and it worked. So there you have it, our latest update from one of the busiest seasons of our lives. As always, keep following along for more adventures and home building. See you next time.